Breaking news, breaking news. The last place candidate, Bill de Blasio, Democratic candidate in last place, dead last place, has dropped out, has dropped out of the 2020 race. Oh, my God, what a surprise. I'm so New York is so uh, is is in is such in a pickle right now because of we all thought Bill De Blasio <laughs> was going to be the president. <laughs> he thought he was going to be the president. <laughs> oh shit! So this is what happened this morning. So uh, getting out there, being able to hear people's concerns, address them with new ideas, it's been an extraordinary experience. Mm. But I have to tell you at the same time, I, I feel like uh, I've contributed all I can to this primary election. And uh, it's clearly not my time. So I'm going to end my presidential campaign, mm. uh, continue my work as mayor of New York City. And I'm going to keep speaking up for working people and for a Democratic Party that stands for working people. And I'll, I'll just say this. I, I talked to a lot of folks, including a lot of labor union members, who really don't feel the Democratic Party has their back right now. And that yeah, because they're fucking liars and cheaters. We know they don't have your back. They don't have anybody's back. They don't even have their, each other's back. So De Blasio out. What it was? <laughs> Trump jumped right on the shit. Oh no! Really big political news. Perhaps the biggest story in years. Part of Mayor. Part-time mayor, <laughs> part-time mayor of New York City, Bill de Blasio, who was polling at a solid zero, but had tremendous room for growth, <laughs> has shockingly dropped out of the presidential race. New York City is devastated. Why? Because he's coming home. <laughs> oh, man. Trump fucking taking a big dig, man. Trump is fucking... So let's see what the uh, the good people at Fox. Fox had some fun with it, too. Let's watch Fox fucking tear into him. All right, we're back with the Fox News alert. And hold on to somebody tight. Bill de Blasio is out. No, uh, yeah, no. Listen, I'm just, I, I'm just the messenger. All right, well, moments ago, the New York City mayor announced that he is ending his 2020 campaign for president. That's right. Recent polls showed that he was at zero support from Democrats <laughs> in New York. He says, quote, I feel like I have contributed all I can to this primary election. It's clearly not my time. He also vows to take on that bully who is the president of the United States. Keep in mind when he has gone to uh, different uh, election activities in primary states, generally a de Blasio crowd is less than a dozen. Right. <laughs> and keep in mind, one of his biggest critics is the Democratic governor from New York less State. Thinks he's dozen. absolutely terrible. Uh, that is uh, Governor Cuomo. And it's very hard to find a lot, uh, two people uh, that think he's good. You know, the other irony is the fact that here in New York City, Mayor Pete uh, Buttigieg actually polls higher for president than the mayor of New York City. Really? What was it last last month? They had a uh, how many hours he had spent in off in the office? Seven. Seven. Seven, yeah, seven, seven. hours in an in entire May. month. Yes. All right. So now he can go back to the office. Right. Now we can Great. go back uh, back to the office. And how's that going to affect the next debate? He won't be there. Okay. So it's official he won't be there. <laughs> You're gonna he, miss he wasn't going to be right. there anyway. Right. He, he can't even, he's not even going to get, uh, hoping for momentum to get there. He's not going to be there. Well, he can go back to napping during right. the day with the yeah. door open. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, man. This is ripping into him. Everybody's ripping in. What about the post? Bill de Blasio finally pulls the plug on his sputtering presidential campaign. They may Bill de Blasio pull the plug on his ill-fated presidential campaign that failed to gain more than 1% in national polls, but drew plenty of ear from New Yorkers who elected him to run the country's largest city. I feel like I've contributed all... Okay, we already saw that. So de Blasio out. <laughs> he thought he was going to be the president. <laughs> Oh, shit. That was funny, man. It's fucking my fucking side hurt when I heard from laughing when I heard that, man. He he really thought he was contributing and doing something good for the country. Fucking go back to the city hall. You've been there seven hours in the in a seven hours a month, you lazy fuck. He goes <clears throat> Bill de Blasio allegedly starts off his day by going to the gym in Brooklyn. He has city vehicles, drive him over to Brooklyn. He goes into the gym, he works out. Then he goes to he goes to City Hall. He does about twenty minutes of, of work when he's even there, and then he takes he sleeps. That's what they say. He sleeps in the in the fucking office. All right? He gets on the couch. He goes to sleep. He shuts the door, 
And then and then he eventually goes home. It was a fucking freeloader, man. Guy wants to run the country. So so anyway, you know, uh, it's just breaking news, funny news, I suppose. So, so, you know, if you hey, by the way, when you're here, you know, make a contribution. I haven't uh, haven't heard from you guys in a while, Marcus Conte. Uh, bringing you the real news, the real news as uh, as it fits, as as it's befitting for the people. Marcus Conte reporting. <laughs>